Well, many of us learned a great deal last week about a Japanese immigrant, Frank Matsura, whose passion for photography helps preserve an old original photograph of this mud wagon that we're beginning to restore as it was being used in the early 1900s. Well, a number of you have the ability to enhance these old photographs, and some of you did and forwarded those photograph copies to me, and they are a great help to see this coach in a little more clarity. Well, along with the clarity of these photos and the old skeleton remains of what I have here to actually put my hands on, we're gonna begin the process of putting some of the framework of this body together, and the first step is the box where the driver sits. So this is the left front joint of the main frame and the reason I put the cross member as a top lap and the main frame as the bottom lap is because of this single piece that is still remaining here. So this is the side frame to the driver's box and there's not much indication left of how this was jointed into the main frame. So this is a view from the inside of the driver's box. You can't see too much here, but you can see there's an indication that there was some type of a fastener, guessing maybe a screw into the mainframe. But the question is, was it just a bunt joint? That would be very odd if it were. I don't think it was. We're gonna look at the right side. You can also see an indication where there was some type of a fastener joint right at the intersection of the cross frame and the main frame. The main frame on this right side is completely gone. So part of the challenges of getting accurate measurements off of old wood is to factor in the weathering. A little tough to say, but I'm guessing maybe an inch and an eighth. But if I go to the inside of the box, this has been more protected by weather. And if I look here, I think it verifies that this was probably an inch and an eighth thick. It's for sure over an inch and it's even stronger than an inch and a sixteenth. Inch and an eighth would be somewhat common. So these uprights, I'm guessing, are two inches wide by inch and an eighth thick. And the front one seems to be the same, two inch wide by inch and an eighth. So even though there's no indication of the bottom joint work into the mainframe, the right front corner of this driver's box has the remnants of what that joint was. This was a lap joint between the first and second framework. So I think the best indication of height of the driver's box is in this framework here. 39, Two inch cross frame across here, I'd say we're probably at 41 inches. And also you can see the remnants where there were two screws in this joint as it was jointed to the cross member from the front frame to the rear frame. But we need to go inch and a half down into the main frame because I'm not just going to butt joint it on the top of the frame. I am going to mortise tenon it down into it and I'll show you how I think I have that figured out. So it seems that universal side to side, the, the width of these side box panels here are 14 inches. The rear panel of this box sets inside, so the, the back edge sits flush with the back edge. So if I'm 14 inch OD, I need to be inset on this inside framing three quarters of an inch. So where I'm 14 here, I need to be front to back on these two frameworks at 13 and a quarter. So I'm gonna allow a half of an inch for this raised finish edge in the corner. And then three quarters of an inch for the box side panel. 
So this will be inch and a quarter to the outside edge of my framing. If I jointed this in from the end and cut a joint like about so, I would end up with this part of this end frame being brittle across this point. So what I think I'm going to do, I have a two inch frame. I'm going to come in at my two inches, inch and an eighth in depth. I'm going to come back to seven eighths of an inch. So this is a full two inch. I'm only going to come back, so I'm going to try more like an inch and three eighths. Like about so. So the footprint of my side panel frame will actually be this whole thing, but I'm going to do a mortise and tenon here. This is going to leave this end grain intact, which will help stabilize the end of this cross frame. So I'm going to mortise that out on both sides. Then for my second frame, you say 14 is going to be my sideboard. I want to inset it three quarter of an inch for my back panel. And then that framework is two inches. So this one, I think I may come in and do my inch and a half, but I'm going to offset that a quarter inch on both sides. Come in my inch and a quarter. I'm going to mortise this at seven eighths. Will give me my quarter of an inch shoulder. So that's where I'm going to mortise the inside corner of this driver's box. Again, I'll do this both sides.
Well, this will be the main frame structure for where the driver will sit. Well, I'm going to put the floorboards in the back section, and this is where the passengers will sit. Well up to this point I'm just doing all my joint work as a dry fit. I'm not going to glue and screw everything just yet. I'm going to start the sideboards next week and kind of get them situated into place before I actually start gluing some of these joints together. Because once I do that, it's there to stay. So I appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.